Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're gonna talk about video games. We're gonna talk about the video game industry and Konami. Konami putting a trigger warning on Metal Gear Solid. Uh, I don't even know what Konami is anymore. We're gonna talk a little bit about that. Uh, one of my favorite games uh, current year is Vampire Survivors, which is the best Castlevania game that's not a Castlevania game ever. And uh, such a missed opportunity for Konami. This could have been theirs, right? They could have said, hey, this game is, this indie game is really good, guys. We want to actually publish this as an official Castlevania game. And they didn't do it. They're too busy chasing, what are they doing now? Pachinko machines or something? I don't know what they do. They don't really care about video games. Konami does not seem to care about video games anymore. Meanwhile, Vampire Survivors uh, top the uh, Switch eShop charts in the US, the UK, and Japan. Uh, this, let's see, this was back in January. They sold 3 million downloads on mobile, 60,000 installs per day, 60,000 installs of this knockoff Castlevania game per day. And that could have been Konami's, but uh, whatever, whatever Konami, you keep, keep being you. So we're going to talk about the current state of Konami. And uh, now they're putting trigger warnings on Metal Gear Solid, the master collection, right? The Master Collection has to have a warning for content that might be considered outdated, just like Disney, just like Warner Brothers, just like all these other companies. Now, the good news is they're not editing the games. The good news is the games are mostly intact. Now, I've heard some of them are not as playable as they should be, but that's a whole nother thing. But the fact that they have to apologize for games that came out, you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago is ridiculous. And we're seeing a lot of this we're seeing a lot of this in the video game industry. Uh, if it's not outright censorship of older games, I mean, we, we saw what Square has done with Final Fantasy. They've they've edited things. Now, a lot of the edits have been minor. You know, Tifa's wearing a sports bra now. Um, you know, the one summon was it Siren from Final Fantasy VIII. She's covered up a little bit more. I mean, it hasn't been like a deal breaker, but it's kind of annoying when you see a company go back and retcon things that happened uh, you know, 20 years ago, totally acceptable 20 years ago or whatever. So let's talk about this before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys. Geeky sitting this one out. I'm going to talk about video games because I don't think she cares about video games that much. So let's talk about metal gear. This is coming from IGN. Uh, we've got an Ars Technica version of it. This happened a couple of days ago, actually. We're going to read the comments on this, too. I'm sure people are thrilled. Metal Gear Solid Master Collection includes a warning for content that may be considered outdated. Uh, whether in the incest themes in Otakon's backstory or the series' overall leering approach to women, Metal Gear Solid is no stranger to controversy. Konami has seen fit to include a content warning in the opening of each of the major games in the collection, which include Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, as well as the 8-bit games. According to Games Radar, which first spotted the content warning during the recent round of previews, the collection contains the following message, warning players about problematic content that may be considered outdated. This game contains expressions and themes which may be considered outdated. However, these elements have been included without alteration to preserve the historical context in which the game was made in the creator's original vision. Player discretion advised. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Problematic. The message declines the name Kojima. That's interesting. Who's closely associated with the series. Closely associated. Kojima, who was fired shortly before the completion of Metal Gear Solid 5, is not involved with the Master Collection or the upcoming uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 remake, Metal Gear Solid Delta. Konami's content warning bears a striking resemblance to the one utilized by Warner Brothers ahead of some of its Golden Age Looney Tunes cartoons, which contain content typically viewed as racist by modern audiences. It's not a common sight in video games, though. Get used to it. This is going to happen more and more. If they're not going to, if they're not going to uglify the women, which they've been doing, then what they're going to do is they're going to apologize for the beautiful women. You know they're going to do it, right? You know they're going to do that. Fans were quick to speculate on what specifically might have motivated the content warning. Apart from the above-mentioned incest theme, some pointed out that Metal Gear Solid 2 included a scene in which the president grabs Raiden's crotch, among other things. Needless to say, Metal Gear Solid has never been shy about being silly and risque with the humor. It's always been rated M, too, hasn't it? 
I mean, it's rated M, right? So what the hell? Uh, an authentic Metal Gear Solid experience. So they have to, they have to say that, you know, uh, even with a content warning, Konami is being authentic. Because they're not going to make any new games. They're just going to keep repackaging all the old games because Konami is not good at making new games now. One way or another, Konami says it's dedicated to providing an authentic Metal Gear Solid experience, telling IGN we want to add that the concept for this collection really is to provide the most authentic Metal Gear Solid experience possible with minor quality of life changes to smooth out a few edges from a different era of video game development. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Konami's goal is to provide a new generation of players an accessible way to experience MGS while including all the MGS-flavored set dressing what, and bonus content that core fans will appreciate. Konami's professed commitment to authenticity seemingly includes releasing the collection in 720p, even on modern consoles. Uh... <laughs> So the first impressions are not that great, I don't think. People are like, yeah, it's it's not fantastic. Um, let's see what the rating is on IGN. Do they have an overall rating for it? They do not. They do not. They said you might be better off just buying them separately. Um, let's see. What's this one? Uh, this is GameSpot. Looks like Konami's doing it right, but then we have Nintendo Life that said it could have been so much more, but isn't. But that, again, that's on the Switch, and the Switch version I've heard has uh, massive frame rate issues. But yeah, you're going to get a warning, guys. You're going to get a warning about how problematic this game is. Uh, and Ars Technica is even like, what the hell is going on here? Gamers of a certain age may find it hard to accept that the Metal Gear Solid series is going to celebrate its 25th anniversary next month. Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear. I remember Metal Gear when it first came out. I do. I'm that old. Uh, Konami's worried that the game's age may be starting to show for modern audiences. Um, <laughs> the disclaimer doesn't go into the specifics of the outdated content. It's not hard to come up with examples. Uh, vague spoilers for Metal Gear. Metal Gear Solid 2 in particular features discussion of heavy incest themes. Um, the game also features a scene where a character grabs another by the crotch. To confirm their sex. Oh my god, that's problematic. Frank depictions of torture and more than a few cringeworthy portrayals of women. Some crude discussion of a certain character's assets. The Metal Gear games also contain some arguably approving portrayals of cigarette smoking, which can be used to calm shaky nerves and reveal otherwise invisible laser traps. Oh my god. Oh my god. The uh, ESRB description for the Master Collection notes the series' frequent violence and occasional drug references, suggestive sexual material such as a snake beater achievement earned after repeatedly zooming in on a bit up poster, and a sequence depicting a nude male character with exposed buttocks. Can't have, yeah. Who, this is the bigger the bigger issue for a lot of people. They're like, hey, you you like totally cut Kojima out of this, right? Because uh, he does not like Konami very much, and I think the feeling's mutual. But that's okay. Konami doesn't really make video games anymore. They just uh, reissue their greatest hits again and again and again and again and again. So there it is. This is the utter state of, of gaming uh, right now. And players are not real happy, but at least it's not being edited. I mean, I'm looking at like Sam and Max. I'm looking at Resident Evil 4, I guess, had some edits to it. And uh, there's so many games out there that they release them and they're like, it's so problematic. I'm like, it was fine in 1998. Why do you got to change it? Uh, but that's okay. I, I don't know if I'm going to get this. I've, I've already got uh, various versions of uh, Metal Gear Solid. I think, I think I'm going to stick to Vampire Survivors. That's my favorite Castlevania game. And also Bloodstained. Uh, neither of them from Konami. So I'm going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And we'll talk later. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.